fender on the left has been sanded up to 3000 grit, cut and polished. The one on the right has just been painted, nothing's been done to it yet. Right here you see me wrapping 1500 grit around a paint stick to sand out where dirt landed in or a bug or something. So if you use a paint stick, you can use it on runs too. It keeps your surface flat so you're not sanding with your fingers and then creating an impression or a groove. That's a bottle of water with a drop of soap, Dawn dish soap. It lubricates the sandpaper. Just more dirt and trash, sanding it out first. And then here I've got 1500 grit on the DA. Just helps cut it down really quick. But you have to be really careful because you'll sand through the clear coat. Once you do that, your paint's gone. Ask me how I know. So that's just 1500 grit on a little sanding block. Be sure and keep it all lubricated. So you gotta do the whole panel with 1500 grit. Keep it wet, you have to wipe it down all the time. Uh, make sure you're using a clean surface, clean rag. Wipe it down, inspect, sand, wipe it down, inspect, sand. Uh, once you have like a flat surface and you, you look down it in the light and you don't see orange peel anymore and all the shine is gone, uh, that's pretty much when you know you're done, but you don't have to take it that far. I'm taking these pretty far because I got a lot of orange peel in these. This is probably one of the worst paint <laughs> jobs I've had turn out recently. But I saved it. I wouldn't recommend using the DA if you're new at this and that's a good idea right there is to use a piece of tape on your body lines because there's a hard edge right there and the paint is much thinner on the edges so I'm just kind of saving the edge so I don't sand through. I will come back and just hit it barely by hand later without a sanding block that way it just gets some type of cut. You have to be careful with complex little corners and curves like that. Make sure that you're not, oh, there's a dog. Make sure that you don't sand through or push down too hard with your hand. You'll create an impression. It's just like sanding before paint. I mean, if you sand it with your fingers, you're gonna create a, a groove or an impression in a clear coat. The clear coat's pretty soft. So you can see there's still a shiny line part on the body line right there. That's because I taped it off so I wouldn't sand through because it happens quick. And you can see the texture, the surface of it. It's just, it's not shiny anymore, except for on the corner right there in the body line. Actually, you can see really good the difference between the, where the fender mounts right there, where it's still shiny, and where I've sanded. You want like a really flat, dull surface, but I put three coats of clear on this, so I know that I have plenty of room to work with. I would start on something much smaller. So typically I go 1500 grit and then maybe 2000 or 2500 grit and then I finish with 3000 grit. But this is what they had. They had 2500 when I went to go get my sandpaper. So I sanded it by hand with 2500 grit and then I hit it with 3000 grit on my DA. I also have little hand sand pads of 3000 grit that you can use. They're kind of like little sponge pads. Sometimes I use them by hand and sometimes I put a little sanding block as a backer. 
Uh, it's really important though when you go from 1500 to 3000 maybe you have something in between because those 1500 grit scratches will show through unless you spend a lot of time with the 3000 grit. All right, this is more 3000 on the DA sander. It works a little better on the DA with the 3000 because you're not cutting so much as just filling the scratches from the 1500 grit. That's really all you're doing with the finer stuff is filling the scratches you created with the real coarse sandpaper. Uh, and if you don't, when you get it all cut and polished up, it'll show through. It'll shine, but you'll see scratches underneath. It looks like underneath, but it's in the clear coat and it's not a good look. You have to be extra careful around those little edges and corners and where that little side marker light goes in. I just barely hit it with the DA, so I didn't so many edges. Here's that sanding pad I was talking about. I kind of just put it underneath a little sanding block and then sometimes I just do it by hand. As long as you're not really pressing down on it, it's okay. Um, and keep it, obviously keep it lubricated. Just a little bit of soapy water. So that's a 3M compounding pad. It's a wool pad. They also make like, like a synthetic or something mix. And that's 3M step one compound. You just smear it on the, on the paint and I work it around a little bit before I start spinning because it will sling this stuff everywhere. And if it gets on, you know, your daily driver or whatever else you have in the, in the garage, I mean, it's compound, it's rubbing compound. So it's just gonna scratch. The goal here is to work this material into the panel without burning. So this creates a lot of heat and it's a wool pad so it'll burn right through. This is probably more dangerous than uh, wet sanding the clear coat because it's just, you got to keep that thing moving. I use it as a low speed. That thing's got like five speeds. I keep it on number one. And if you can keep it flat, great. Uh, I use the edges sometimes too. And you see me, I wipe it down, but I also, most of it's just been worked into the material and you'll know, you'll know when it's done, it'll start kind of looking dry and that's when you know you need to stop. So you always start the buffer on the panel and stop it on the panel. You don't spin it and then touch it to the paint. That's dangerous, that'll burn through it really quick. Typically I go like left to right and then up down over the same panel and just do small areas at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Take your time. It's really pretty simple. Uh, just the key is to keep it moving. Do not stop in one area. You'll burn right through it. So this is a little tricky. I would probably recommend you do those little corners by hand. I went ahead and hit them with the buffer, but I knew that's because I didn't really sand them very hard. But once you get close to an edge, that buffer will start nicking the edge and it'll rip paint right off. So I'd be really, really, really careful on the edges and corners and stuff. A lot of times guys won't even do it. They'll just work up to the corner or the edge and then they'll put some compound on a rag and just do it by hand the old fashioned way. It takes a little longer, but it's a lot safer. And you can see it's already brought that shine back, but it's kind of a dull shine once you look at it. It's just not as deep. Uh, the next step will polish. So you can see it looks pretty good already. Got a little bit of a reflection, but it's just, it's not as deep as it could be. This is step two. This is the Perfected 3M machine polish. And I use a 3M polishing pad on my same tool there for this. Same deal, spread it around the panel, don't send it flying because it'll go 
all over your whatever else you're working on and you're just wasting material if you do it that way. Same thing, I kind of go left to right, up, down, up, down, over the whole little area that I'm doing. Kind of wipe it off, see how it looks. I might do this a couple times with the polisher because the polisher is a lot less abrasive with the foam, but the the wool definitely will, will burn through it really quick. So you can see I kind of go over the same area a couple times if I don't like how it looks. It can only get shinier. Same thing on this, I use the low speed, I use the one, maybe the two. On the lower areas, I just put my compound directly on the foam pad and then work it around. Again, same thing here. Some guys won't even get close to those corners. Um, I felt okay with it and I just didn't spend a lot of time on them. I didn't nick it. Some of them will just do the corners by hand. So this is after uh, wet sand, 1500 grit, 2500 grit, 3000 compound with 3M rubbing compound and polish with 3M Perfected Machine Polish. So it's pretty good, pretty deep, shiny, clear. Took most of the orange peel out of it. And now the only thing left to do is put a couple good coats of wax on it. 